Hi everyone, this is Jazzman251 with a video on the open source Easy Race Lab Timer interface. In this video, I want to guide you through the steps to start a session from scratch. We will look into the procedures to log in, add pilots, and start a simple race session, and some other options as well. So, first, go to the Easy Race Lab Timer interface by connecting to its Wi Fi network and entering its default IP address. The first thing we'll need to do is log in by pressing the login button. Enter the default email password combination to log in as an admin and press sign in. We should get a message that we signed in successfully. To get access to all the functions you'll need to start a session, we'll have to assign the race director role to the admin user. We can do that by clicking users in the configuration menu. Click edit next to the admin user info. We can also edit the password of the admin user here. For now we will just add the race director role to the admin user. Click Update User to apply the changes. Next thing is adding the pilot's information. Click Pilots in the configuration menu. Now simply enter the pilot's information into the text fields and click Create. The pilot now has been added to the list. We can add an avatar for each pilot by clicking on Edit next to the pilot's info. Select the image file you like to use and click on Update. The avatar should now be visible next to the pilot's name. To start a session, click the Race Director button. There we can name the session and click Start Standard Race Session. We can enter an idle time so that the session will be automatically stopped when the system doesn't track a lap time for that period of time. We can also manually stop the session by clicking Stop Race Session. When the session is stopped, we can get the results on the History page by clicking History. We can then export the results from each session as a PDF file. To add sound events, we have to click Sound Effects in the Configuration menu. We can add a sound for each time a lap is tracked. Click Choose File and select the file you want to use for that event. Then click Upload. We can add sounds for each sound event in the list. If you like to delete the sound, we can click Clear and the sound will be removed. We can also create custom sound files which can be triggered on the Race Director page. In this example, we will upload a warning sound that we can use to notify the pilots to land immediately. The way we add these custom sound files is the same as we did before. Now the custom sound will be available on the Race Director page. If you want to create a session with more options, we can click Start Competition Race. We can choose to add pilots manually, or click the Hot Seat option so that any pilot that passes the timing gate will be added to the session automatically. Further on we can name the session, enter how many laps we want the race to be, and again enter an idle time to automatically start a session with the same settings when there are any trackings by the system. One more thing, we can easily shut down the system by clicking System in the Configuration menu and press the Shutdown button at the end of the page. That was it guys, have fun!